these episodes of American Horror Story are getting crazy. Um, this latest episode, it, of course they have to add more to the storyline. They have to add more to why Donna has suddenly decided she wants to play nice with Brooke and to get more background on Benjamin, on Mr. Jingles, whose name is Benjamin. Um, so, you know, it starts off and it's like, you know, what is it, the, the 30s or something, and he's at the camp, and I got really confused. I was like, his, is that his mom? Like, why would he be sitting off to the side when she's obviously favor, favoritisming, favoring um, Bobby? And I was like, oh, right, because she, she, you know, first child's obviously the disappointment. That doesn't make any sense. Um... So you kind of see his upbringing in a sense. And then now all of a sudden he's at the camp, he gets there, and all the like the dead people that he killed or have been killed by Margaret or whoever want to kill him. And he's like, no, 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 no. And then they're like, they basically told each other, no, Montana wants us to wait for the, um, for the show, for the concert. And then he lives and then he tells the tale, oh, you see somebody in the woods? Oh, she's wearing a nightgown. Yeah, she's my mom. Everyone's like, wait, what? What, what? What are you talking about? And so you kind of you kind of get all the pieces together. I like that we're seeing more, a couple more um, actors from like the earlier seasons. I have no idea what their names are, but um, Benjamin's mom, for example, and the serial killer on the side of the street, or the failed serial killer, the one who took Brooke and Donna. And of course he gets his, his thumbs, cut, thumbs cut off and Brooke's just like, yeah, okay. What? Dude, I'm surprised Donna wants to keep going with her. Like, she is crazy. She's starting, I get it. She gotta get, got a new start. And now she wants to, you know, go to Redwood and kill Margaret, which is all fine and dandy. But then, like, what's going to happen after that? She's going to jail. She's going to take her new life after that. I don't know. I did have to kind of laugh, though, because I think I think it was in one of the early um, early seasons or in maybe some other movie that I've seen. I don't actually know, and I wouldn't be surprised if they snagged it from another series or season, um, that the creepy serial killer guy in the car with Donna and Brooke says, oh, yeah, you know, you're creeping up on another car, and they don't have the lights on, so you flash yours, they make a U-turn, they come up behind you and they kill you in the car. I'm pretty sure that was in another season. That sounds too familiar, and not in a familiar way of, like, horror movies, but, I mean, I guess, I guess, I don't know. I do have to comment, though, on the um, trailer for next week. Okay, this is the 90s. Okay, no, 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 I, okay, I for, totally forgot, like, when, when, um, like, the era in which this takes place. So, at first, now that I'm thinking out loud here, so, in the trailer, Donna is explaining, oh, Brooke, essentially, you're the final girl, you're the one who's been all through all this trials, and you're gonna survive this, you're gonna tell the story. Okay, fine. Cool. It's the 90s. Are they even aware of this, like, in existence? Like, yes, it's been in existence, because you have all these other horror movies from the 80s and the 90s, the 70s, you name it, and there is a final girl. Scream, for example, in that movie, they make a point in among the parody-ness of it, in a sense, there's a final girl. She always wins this. She's like this. She's like this. Okay, to be fair, actually, it's it's kind of gray area at this point. The final girl is technically a virgin. Brooke is no longer a virgin. She had sex with Ray, who was a ghost at the time. Does that count? Maybe it doesn't count. I don't know. Not the point. But it's just funny that they bring that up, that it's like, in a horror movie, you have the final girl. And then they show, like, oh, the final showdown, and you... You have the, the Night Stalker guy, Rodriguez, I guess his name is Ramirez, something like that, and um, Benjamin, and they're going to duke it out. Or is it not Benjamin, and it's actually um, uh, his brother. Still confused, didn't rewind, going to roll with it. He's sitting on the dock.
kills himself, stands up after he's laying there. So, unless, unless it is Benjamin and he killed himself to be a part of the ghosties to kill him, to kill Ramirez, Rodriguez, the Night Star guy. I don't know. Like I said, whatever's going on, I'm winging it, I'm watching it, I'm not rewinding because what's the fun in that? Just kind of roll with it. Um, it's, I don't know. I like that they added more. I'm excited that we're seeing more. But it's also kind of like, I don't know. My new theory. Okay, we're on like, what, episode six or seven now? The concert is when the this show is going to end. Or not. You know, that'll be like next episode because I'm totally wrong with my theories at this point. Um, so yeah, I don't know. And for the ride, as usual.